Lately, I've been thinking about how God's ways are so different from the world's ways. And I'd like to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. Because when you look at what Jesus really said and what he taught us, it's so different from what people will tell you and from the advice you might get. For example, the world will tell you you should hang around people who are like you, people who want to be successful, upwardly mobile, people that can help you and lift you. But that's not what Jesus said. If we look, the first passage you want to look at is in Luke 14, verses 12 through 14. Jesus said, when you make a dinner or a supper, call not your friends or your brethren or your kinsmen or your rich neighbors, because uh, they will be able to recompense it to you. They'll be able to pay you back. He said in verse 13, but when you make a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed, for they can't recompense you for that, uh, but you will be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. So in other words, don't do things or don't hang around with people necessarily all the time that can help you or do something for you or pay you back. Do something for someone who can't pay you back. Reach out to those who sincerely need your help. And then, you know, the world says, gosh, you need to get a lot of stuff. You need to have a bigger house than your neighbor. You need to buy a new car because your neighbor got a new car and you need to wear better clothes. But that's not what Jesus said. In Luke chapter 12, verse 15, listen to this. And he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness. Covetousness is wanting what somebody else has. For a man's life does not consist in the abundance of of all the things which he possesses. And of course, we know how the, the world looks at money. You know, how everybody wants to just make as much money as they can and have as a big a bank account as they can, and that's security. It's almost like he who has the most when he dies wins. <laughs> that's not the way of the Lord. The Lord says in Matthew 6, and again, these are all Jesus' words, in verse 19 and 20, he says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. And then verse 21, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So are you going to listen to the world's advice and hang around all those people that can help you and, and just do things for people that can do things back and, and invest in all kinds of things and get a bigger house and a better car and better clothes? Or are you going to go the Lord's way? And he says, be content with what you are. He says, reach out to the poor, the, the blind, the maimed, the people that can't help, them, have them, help themselves and don't want what everybody else wants want what you have. That's God's way. And that's straight from the mouth of Jesus. I hope that helps you. God bless, and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.